Hello, welcome to Cult of the Resurrection. Uh, this doesn't have an intro briefing like uh, many of the fan missions, so once again I'm going to switch back to Notepad to read out the introduction for you. The biggest news in town is that one of the local Hammerite temples to the north was just raided. Several key artifacts were taken from the temple grounds, and the hammers themselves were left butchered and torn apart. The word on the street is that the job was pulled off by a group of unknown independent thieves, but the keepers have found a way to get you a more accurate description of what happened. Apparently the job was pulled by a cult calling themselves the Resurrection, comprised mostly of ex-bandits and thieves. The group has been on a mad quest to collect a number of arcane relics for use in some bizarre rituals. The group is headed by a woman shrouded in mystery, who the keepers have found to be obsessed with the return of the trickster. Convinced that his return to the realm of the living is imminent, she has been recruiting various rogues into her dark organization to carry out her bizarre schemes. The recent raid on the Hammerite Temple is testimony to the power and fanaticism of both the leader and the cult itself. The target of this most recent attack was none other than the fabled Spirit Stone, a blood-red gem supposedly imbued with the powers to grant life. Not surprisingly, the Keepers would like you to find out where the cult is hiding and steal it back. However, the cult is quite cunning, and although the Keepers were able to follow several of the members back to an old, walled-off section of the city, they have no idea where their hideout is. They want you to find their fortress and descend into de the depths, stealing back what was taken by whatever means necessary. Ordinarily, you don't take this kind of job due to the risk factor, but you don't want anyone out there giving thieves a bad name. And if the cult has been collecting artifacts, they're bound to have a horde of loot down there, just ripe for the taking. Alright, let's get started. So, this one, there's three different levels. Burglar, Assassin, and Thief. And rather than being a normal setup uh, of, you know, normal hard expert where, you know, you have more objectives to complete, more loot to steal, and less people you're allowed to kill, uh, the idea with these three is that um, they're supposed to correspond to kind of different styles of play, but they clearly have more objectives than the other one as well. Um, so, Burglar, the entrance to the cult's hideout is supposed to be somewhere inside the old city. Discover where the fortress is and find a way inside. The sacred gem, the Spirit Stone, was stolen from a local Hammer Cathedral and now rests somewhere deep within the cult's hideout. Steal it. Along with the Spirit Stone, the, cult all, the cultists also made off with the Holy Relic Sword of St. Edgar. Find it, take it, make it yours. You want to grab some goodies while you're in there too. Get at least 1,000 in loot. Once your task is finished, find your way back to the city via the water depths. Uh, assassin. That's the same, that's the same. You've dealt with the trickster before and you have no intention of dealing with him again. Hack, stab, gut, butcher and mutilate the cultists until they are dead, dead, dead. After you're sufficiently coated in entrails, take a look around. Grab at least 1400 in loot. Once your task is finished, find a way back to the city. <laughs> nice, that's uh, definitely assassin mode. Instead of don't kill anyone, it's like kill them all, kill them all! <laughs> Cover yourself in their entrails. Alright, and uh, what's on Thief? That's the same, that's the same. Your ultimate goal, other than stealing the stone, is to drive the cultists into confusion. Find their leader and killer, but make it look like an accident. The unholy necromancer Rathis dwells somewhere in the depths of the compound. Since you don't like magic, and you don't want anyone discovering what will truly happen to the leader, find and take him out, bloody leave need be, and leave him to rot in the tunnels. Uh, in order to make the journey worthwhile, you need to grab your fair share of treasure, find everything within the compound. Most of the cultists are just sheep. Dispose of the two main members of the cult, but don't kill anyone else. Right. Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to do that because, firstly, find everything within the compound. That's a little too extreme even for me. That will be a lot of searching. Normally, the uh, the expert level loot goal is still somewhat less than the total amount of loot in the mission. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Assassin. Let's, let's make sure these cultists... Well, let's test, you know, they believe in uh, bringing the dead back to life. Let's test their theories, shall we? With my sword. Okay. Right, what do we start off with? Ten broadheads, eight water arrows. 
healing potion and two fire arrows. It's nice to give me a healing potion to begin with, but I can't buy another one. 650 cash. Uh, I'll definitely want a rib arrow or two. Probably two. It's easy enough to lose one. Fire arrows are too expensive. Ten broad hero, broadheads. Well, you know, I'm supposed to be killing all these uh, cultists. So broadheads might be useful, but um, I don't really know what we're going to be up against. So I might need to do a bunch of sneaking. I'm going to take some more water arrows. And let's get a couple more broadheads to finish off my uh, money. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, I'll change my mind there. One more water arrow is dead. Broadheads are fine. I'm not going to need broadheads. Alright, let's get started. And it's quite dark. Yeah, I think the ambient light is uh, lower than usual. Let me quickly tweak that. Some of the missions... Uh, the camera's... You know, the ambient's lower, so I need to turn the camera up a little. Ah, that's better. I can just make stuff out now. It's, just, I'm, it's supposed to be dark, but it was almost pitch black for me. That will be better. So this is a very quiet, walled-off part of the city. Oh yeah. Already a door that I can't get in. Can I get in those windows up there? No. Uh, I should be able to climb on that awning. How odd. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, those windows aren't accessible anyway. Never mind. We have, uh... Is that a hole in the wall, or is it just a... Yeah, it looks like it. There's some kind of switch. But if I can't unlock it, I guess I'm not going that way. There are some guards around there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Notice. Actions are to be taken immediately to apprehend the petty thief who goes by the alias of Garrett. Wanted for several outstanding incidents, including the recent break-in at the Grieving Barrack, he is considered highly dangerous. Approach with caution. Official charges. Burglary, three counts. Thievery, two counts. Head cudgeling, 14 counts. Public indecency, one count. Description. Age. A young lad, perhaps late 20s. Weight. A bit shy of 13 stone, one could venture. Face, nondescript. Eyes brown, clothes black. Petty thief. Petty, really. I'll show you petty. And thus, prove your description of me. Alright, we have... Room here with a body in it. Oh, there's more broadheads for me. Two bodies, in fact. Yeah. Hear those guards again. There they are. That must be. I mean, is this the cultist's hideout? That's not very hidden. Those keepers are not doing a very good job with their surveillance. Well, guys, do you actually have any weapons? You got a. Yeah, you both got bows. Do I just run out and hack them to death? <coughs> Wait, are they guards? Are they the cultists or are they the guards? This has got to be the, the uh, Waldorf Quarter. They've got to be the cultists, surely. Oh, we have a map. Um, we have power station, the old city. Yeah, so we were we were here at the power station. This is the entrance. Behind that's waterways, caves, and a fortress. And there's maybe a church somewhere. Uh, Garrett really needs some better cartographer friends because. Uh, Oh, that's just where I came from. Get on this roof. I just realised. And there's rafters up here, but I'm not sure there's anything on them. But it might give me a better way around those guards when they won't see me. I can climb over those trees and get on that roof. Or even get to the door. Just wondering if it lets me get anywhere. Oops. Damn it, now I'm just kind of... Kinda stuck. Okay. 
Alright. <laughs> I'm stuck in the roof there. My question is, well, I couldn't get over that gate. Sorry, I couldn't get through that gate. It wouldn't open, but I can get over it, right? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, take that. What are you hiding in your little room here that you're trying to keep me locked off from? Maybe nothing. Nothing at all. Can I get, back, can I get back up again? Can I get out? Is this, is this a terrible move? That's right. Maybe. There you go, that'll teach you to uh, explore where you're not wanted. Around the edges of the level. Oh look, it's just space down there. Yeah, I really shouldn't keep running around the edge of the level, it's, it's silly. However, we will go back across the street. Or attempt to. Because getting up here actually seems quite useful. I mean, they can sort of see me there, but, you know, they're not, they're not going to be too fast, surely. We got up here. It's a collapsed tower, apparently. Neat. But not what I need. Now, I could get a, possibly get over the wall behind them there if I go across the roof. I'm wondering if this door here opens. I'm not sure. Hey, it'll probably be easy to find out once I've uh, dealt with those two guards. Oh, noisy. You heard nothing, guys. Just me clumping noisily. Well, I guess they didn't hear anything because the uh, sound propagation was weird. All right, there's a hole in the wall there, so I could fall down here and get through. But I'm more interested in staying up high just for the moment. <laughs> It kind of seemed like I'm not supposed to be up here because I can see outside the level again. <laughs> well, that must be their hideout. Right, what's the safest way down? Probably just off here. Looks looks low enough. No problem. It's interesting playing a thief level where they really haven't, you know, tried climbing everywhere because that's really what Garrett's good at. Climbing. He's good at anything. I suppose he's good at sneaking too. Alright, here we have. Oh, a secret way in. Oh, that could be useful. Now, if these two count as cultists, then I. Given my objective to kill them all, uh, I'm gonna have to deal with them too. So, let's try. Ooh! This is why I call me an assassin. I don't actually have a blackjack. So this could go very badly for me. Let's try backstab one and then I'll engage the other. Let's try that again. Let's turn around very slowly. Ow! They didn't get me because I didn't get my circle strafing up well enough. Ouch. Well, that's two of them down. I'm going to have to be a little more careful in the future if uh, I'm not going to get uh, killed myself here. Oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to not give me a blackjack. That's um, no chance of just knocking them out and then killing them. I need to go straight for the murder. All right. Oh, moss arrows. guess I can still be a bit sneaky to get into a better murdering position. Well, let's, uh... What are we down? Or straight across? What's down? Locked. But well, I can pick it. Not sure how... 
Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Do you remember that power station? Do you remember that power station? I was wondering how to get into it without the key. Well, without these fools in the way, I can just run back there quickly. Because uh, I have just realized what I was missing. Firstly, I did want to check this door. Which doesn't appear to open. Okay. Secondly... Uh, I believe the door to the power station was wooden, so my sword, which I can use to... Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, it's wood. So I can speak down the door. You know. Brute force. And we are brute force is all it takes. So what does this let me do? Oh great, let's be turn the power on. I was hoping it would let me turn the power off. What's upstairs here? Or up rafters, as the case might be. It's kinda of hard to get up there. Come on, stay on stay on the Stay on the bit of wood, go, don't fall off. Alright, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stuck. Alright. We have a chest. Got some loot in it. Nice. Alright. One mystery solved. Right back to business. I have turned on all the lights here. Not that it really matters. Um all this helps me see do these people have loot? No. good news is, it shouldn't matter. I was hoping it would like turn off all the lights in the compound, but that was definitely too much to hope for. So, back down the stairs here, and we will get through there. See what we can see. Someone heard me. Don't know who or where, though. Go here. A uh, hammer. Ouch. More rope arrows. Anyone here? No. There's a broken door. Doesn't really bode well, does it? Or is this just a storage room? Oops, somebody's coming. Must be upstairs. Walking over the ceiling. Right, bunch of crates. Uh, they're not really going to do me any good, are they? Nothing of value. Bit of a broken statue. All right, it looks like a dead end. But maybe a useful book corner to hide in, to lure people into, so I can. I was about to say I'd hit them over the head, but I'm not hitting people over the head this time. I'm slicing their innards. Let's pick the lock here. Oh. I can't. I think that's a metal door, right? I don't think I can beat this one down. I thought somebody heard that. Well, I don't know where I am. Oh, but how am I supposed to get in? I guess I don't sneak in. I'm not the... I guess I'm not the sneaky type this time. Well, the front door's actually don't open. Um. Okay. How am I supposed to get inside then? Maybe I can lure. Lure this guard outside. He comes and opens the door for me. <coughs> no, he seems to be over this way. So I really shouldn't be able to hear it from out here. I wasn't missing a key in here somewhere, was I? No. No. Don't think so. Uh, this is not going to hurt to take a little bit more of a look around. Broken bench. Broken door. I never really looked all over this stuff. Oh! Well, no wonder I could hear this guard. Well, I feel like an idiot now, don't I? Don't I? That also explains why there's a rope arrow there for me. 
Yeah, get it. You know, it pays to look up sometimes. That's probably the door I just couldn't open. That's a tile floor. Let's just go to the same room. It does. So go slowly and softly. There's fighting on the banner there. Does this guard come into this room? Yes. And he's got a light. Oh god, he's quick to react. Ouch, ouch. Oh, that didn't work, did it? I need, I need some uh, protection. Whoops. Well, okay, but promise not to hit me. Hey, <laughs> Johnson. Ah, damn it, just keep going through the door. Ouch. This is not going to go well. This is not very well. Well, I got him, but, uh,. Definitely need that healing version now. You can't hide forever. Yeah. It's not very stealthy. Uh, not very stealthy of me. Yes. I just cut it. Chop down all the banners. Kill all these people. Seems to be my two mottos. Anyone in hiding in the toilet? No, but they did drop some loot in. See, all those other missions, I was peering over into the toilet, and you probably all thought I was mad, but see, it pays off. Somebody has been pooping diamonds. You know, you can never predict when that might happen. I think I probably should have played in burglar mode so I didn't have to, you know, chop everyone with my sword, but hey, I'll have that. <laughs> Tasty. Healing potions are my friends to this time. Nice statue in your bedroom, just creepily watching you sleep. Alright, well, I guess it's different from my, uh, very different from my usual playstyle. Spend a lot more time blackjacking people and also running away from them than uh, actually slicing them to shreds. There's the front doors that didn't open. Two more creepy statues. So having to, having to you know, semi creep about. Hey, who's there? There's no one. God, you guys are. You got any idea what we do to unwelcome guests? Uh, probably what I'm gonna do to you. Oh, he's up there. Question is, what kind of a. Has he got a sword or does he have a bow? He's got Come a bow. Come on out, and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. <laughs> well, if you just come a little closer and turn around. Something. Don't you- There we are. Problem solved. Tried to, tried to get a backstab there, but uh, he turned around because of this bloody floor of clinker clink. Alright, what's through here? Oh, 
else is the back? We have some uh, old barrels and a skip which they've thrown a bush into. <laughs> What's over this way? Probably nothing. Just a golden tower. Interesting. <laughs> Odd to have such a backyard area with apparently no purpose. Oh well. That's fine. Up on top of it, wow, giant hammer. Alright, I'll go through that, that door next, but first, what have we got here? Stairs down! Alright. I think the downstairs is gonna be a job for later. I think I need to deal with the people up in here first. Um, because I think there was something about a necromancer moving downstairs and one of the other difficulties. And I'm probably going to need to go down there anyway. It's a letter. My dearest Joseph, I write to tell you I can no longer abide in this inhospitable place. I have gone to seek refuge amidst our dear brothers at the temple to the north. Oh, how I do feel I have fallen victim to such cowardice, but I cannot sit by while so many evils occur under our noses. I know we have discussed many times what has been happening between our dear master and that sinner, the Lady Katrina. She seemed so righteous in the beginning, so willing to accept our tenets. But ho, oh, what mysteries does she hold? She has charm, no doubt, but I fear she has powers not of the Builder, and our poor leader has been seduced by her. What disgrace is to be brought upon our temple? It is perhaps too late to save our pride, dear brother, but I must do what is right. I am now convinced. Why does she gaze so longingly at nothing? What doth she hold in her head? Strange things have been happening of late. Just the other night, I crunched down on something hard in my meal of fish and nearly chipped a tooth. I looked to find a rock diamond on the inside. We have taken the vow of poverty, and while it was too late for one diamond, I quickly disposed of the remaining one out back. Why doth such wealth exist, and why is it being hidden? Perhaps it has to do with that horrible corpse we keep in the basement. It has brought with it a stench I cannot bear. But I do believe, my Joseph, that its powers are not gone. That unsightly moss seems to keep sprouting up from the floor and breaking the tiles. It is always wet and damp down in the cathedral. If it were left unattended, the resting place of the builder would be unfit for rats. I somehow think these things are connected, but I am not sure how. I have gone to seek the aid of the higher order. Please forgive me, my dear friend, and do not inform our master until my return. Yours in truth, Marcus. Well, he literally was pooping diamonds, and I found one, and apparently he left the other one out back. And in my cursory search, I failed to find it. Sure. Before I investigate the basement down there, let's head back out to, to the back door, which was here. Let's see if we can see where he dropped that diamond. Here we are. Don't know how I missed that last time, but I will take that with me. Alright. Um, I guess we is just the basement left for us from this old hammer temple. Let's put this all away. I don't need it. Yet. I know we've got to kill over, but I don't need to be t too eager. Very long spiral stair. Very tight. Anything underneath it? No. Alright, uh, we have a basement to explore. With a locked door. people about. And some more doors straight ahead. Getting stuck in this doorway. Just let us say. Notice, from now on, servants of guards are requested to use the side hall so as not to disturb mass. This may not be as convenient for the guards, but the high priest has requested you use this entrance as walking full clad in armour across the chapel, or carrying dinnerware for that matter, is quite disturbing. It also requested that you stay away from the basement. The fortress is there to serve us in times of need and is not a playground. Thank you all in advance. Acolyte Joseph. Well, I guess those double doors then go for the cathedral. Uh, the Holy Mass. A kind of terrible version of it. And there's the servant in the kitchen. 
somebody else wandering through as well. I bet it's a guard. Who? Yeah. Well, if he is, it's not coming this way. What's that? Who goes? Oh, this is a guard. Don't see anything now. Yeah, I'll well, turn you back. Turn you back, sir. <coughs> is that you? <laughs> And just come with me back here. Out of the way to this little dark corner. Just in case someone else comes through. I thought there was somebody patrolling here. Can I hide in that? No. Ah, uh, someone else might have come in here. Definitely a noisy floor. Anything in the fireplace? Nope. Shelves. Just some uh, boxes. <laughs> but nothing else up there. What about the sink? Have you dropped any valuables in the sink? No. Alright. Let's carry on. Creep through this decaying dining room. So this is the moss leaking out from what the corpse or is it just damp generally I was kind of confused by that letter you said something about the basement the corpse in the basement the unsightly moss seems to keep spreading up from the floor and breaking the tiles uh, thinking it's connected to the corpse in the basement okay may well be well, if there was a guard here there are uh, clearly got travel a long way oh. I see there. nothing Identify yourself. As soon as I find you, you're dead. What if I find you first? <laughs> ow. Yeah. ow! 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 I think he's dead. How's this feel? Ouch! That feels bad. That feels bad. I really, uh, yeah, let's. I would prefer it, sir. <laughs> if you did not hit me like that. Because it does feel bad. <clears throat> He's gonna see the blood, isn't he? Just the wind. I heard that. Where are you, you coward? Hey, you're tough, man. this time. Very poorly, but I did win. So, I'll take it. Yeah, hmm. Oh, I can lean through. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, can I hit those switches with my No. Alright. Do you have any healing questions in here for me? I would be very appreciative if you did. That's a noisemaker. That's no use to me. I'm here as an assassin. Right, well, there's no one here conducting mass, so I probably should have just come into this room. Hey, look at all the creeping moss. Everywhere. Yeah. That's where I definitely where I've been. Anybody drop anything of value on the pews? Never know. People have a tendency to leave their purses lightly, you know, not tied properly to their belts, and they have something to drop off. Oh, they don't keep their uh, cathedral in very good shape, do they? Banner! Out of my way, statue. And another one. Destroy all the banners. Okay, we have bread. Let's chew on that. Oh, it didn't heal me. 
to get gold and read their notes. Lecture notes. Sam was a great builder. Dissertation on that thing that be called sin. The paths of the righteous, the river of the right hand path. One must be that chisel of the builder, not his hand cuffs. Story time. Myth of that great slayer, the Saint Edgar, and his undead slayings. Myth of the power of that Saint Jude and the Jiggy Riddy. Break for coffees. If they be in the spirit, songs of the builder. If they be not, communion, kissing of the builder's hammer. Oh, that's, uh... So, interesting. Uh, apparently these guys can still consider themselves to be... Builders? Or did the cult take over this whole place after it was abandoned? I really don't quite understand the relation to the hammers that were here and the cultists. I guess it must be the same group, because the person who wrote that letter I picked up was talking about the corpse in the basement and stuff. And... But it was also talking about the, you know, being ha doing hammerite stuff. No, in the technical term. Uh, so, is there anything, like any kind of secret passage or something out of here? Because I feel like I've gone around in circles now and don't have anywhere left to go. There's the gate back here, which I can't seem to open from this side unless I'm blind and missed a lever. Switches on that side, of course. And there's a door down there. I can't reach the switches, I mean, again, unless I glitch and lean through, and that seems a little. Unsporting. There's uh, this room which has got nothing in it but creeping moss. It's the kitchen. You know, and it's quite, it's not uncommon to have uh, secret passages in the fireplace, but this one definitely does not look like it has a secret passage. Alright, uh, did I miss another doorway back here? I don't think I did. That's the main cathedral hall. And this just leads back to the stairs. What am I missing? Where is the basement? How does one get, get into it? Um, through that gate, presumably, but I couldn't open it, right? No, like, upstairs. I thought I tried opening the gate. I don't think it was probable. No, it isn't. So I... Oh! I am blind as a bat! It's merely locked. And I can merely unlock it. Right. Garrett, the assassin, is clearly not the most observant or the most intelligent. He's... it's alright, he's just still angry at being called petty. So what do these switches do then? Close it? No, 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 alright. Let's leave it open. I have another dark tunnel. I thought I heard footsteps, but they're just mine. It looks like I'm on the right track. Apparently so. What does that do? Alarm? Nope, someone's a lift. Did it send it away again? Nope. Is there somebody in this room? Do they look away? Turn. I have to turn and face this way. Oh, he does turn and face away. Alright, let's go stab him in the back. What? And take his money. And more of his money. And sloppy dice, so I can't take his sloppy dice. Oh, wow. Alright, this is clearly the cultist compound. Uh, weird garden underground. Oops. Let's hide the evidence in case someone comes this way. Just to avoid unnecessary alerts, so... Huh? Okay. He saw something. He's wandering in the garden out there. Well, there was nothing, I guess. 
Yeah. Archer patrolling. Where does he go? Another archer upstairs. So that looks like quite a dangerous place for me to go right now. It's very wide open. Those archers will surely get some arrows off on me. Uh, if I just go straight out there, so I don't think I will go that way just yet. Where's the buttons for this lift? It's going up and a down. Let's send it up again. Just so I can check underneath it. Anything here? I thought I saw it. Nope. Nothing there. I'll bring it back down in case I want to use it, but I'll go this way first, I think. Let's just lead out to the garden. Now it's a hall. Nice quiet floor. Nice plants everywhere. What? Okay, it's just somebody singing to themselves. Nothing strange at all. I'm gonna need a key for that. tricks on me. Do you have a turn around, sir? All's quiet now. <sighs> turn around. Would you? Good sir. Turn to your right. No? <sighs> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to run up to him and try and kill him that way. <gasps> Thought I Don't you move a muscle! <laughs> Ow! You guys are too good swords. Too good. Uh, no, 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 no. All right. Sorry, mate. I'm not going your way. I'm going back up to the garden, I guess. Maybe I can try the lift first. Let's try the lift. I've already seen what's out there in the garden, and it looks hard for me to deal with. I guess we can sneak around a bit first. Who have we got out here? Somebody with their back turned to me. That's perfect. Ideal for assassinating. Oh. Well, they don't always have their back turned to me. But they do enough. I didn't even cry out. Just a little grunt. Perfect. What's up here? Just more rocks. There's a little weird, like both pillars of this place have just stopped short. I thought it was like a balcony, but no, it's uh. Get up there, guy. It's a little kind of ledge. Just trying to see if there's anything up there. Lights. Alright, so we can go. Uh, where's my compass? Either west or south? Uh, not much reason to choose one or the other. What have we got here? Caves with a body. This must be the caves that uh, they were talking about. What's to the south then? So the garden I was seeing, is that the fortress on the map? Possibly. It's like mines. All popped up. It's very echoey. Until the sound stops altogether, which is odd. Oh, we've got zombies down there. Zombies down that way. So what's, what's over this way? I prefer not to deal with zombies when I can avoid it, but uh, I do feel like there won't be any avoiding it for long. Is 
water. Enormous well. Absolutely gigantic. And a passageway out of it. Alright, that's interesting to know. That will probably get me somewhere useful. What we have here is a table with some cutlery. That's for gold. Alright, nothing else. Alright. Uh, it's a little soon, a little earlier than normal, but I'm going to cut the episode here, and when I return, I'm going to go explore that well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you shortly.